Since 2008, there have been no American nuclear weapons in the UK. But that may be coming to an end. Pentagon budget documents suggest the UK will now be one of six NATO countries where US special weapons will be stationed. It could well be here, RAF Lakenheath in Suffolk. US fighter planes that will be capable of dropping such weapons are already based here. And there are now plans by the US Air Force to increase accommodation for a potential nuclear mission. It's small scale so far, but there's protest here by the Campaign for Nuclear Disarmament. <laughs> Sophie, hi, I'm oh, Jane hi, from the BBC. Hi, I've got cold hands. Uh, no wonder being up there. What, yeah, what's yeah. the idea of today? What, 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 what's this about? This is all about putting a spotlight on Lake and Heath. We've got overwhelming evidence um, that the US are planning to site um, nuclear bombs here. The government will neither confirm nor deny, but it's absolutely clear. And we know that we've got public opinion on our side. You know, nearly 60% of the population do not want to have US nuclear bombs um, sited in Britain. This base is surrounded by secrecy. They don't want people to know what's going on because people do know, They'll, they're up in arms about it. I'm here protesting today because people need to know about the threat of nuclear weapons being stored at this site or anywhere, really. So tell me about the 80s. In, were you at Greenham Common? We were part of a women-only demonstration, and we came from all over the country, women who were just desperate to get rid of these terrible weapons that were going to be put on our soil. That's why I can't believe we're doing this again. We shouldn't have weapons of mass destruction anywhere in the world, but when they're on your turf, it's extra incumbent on you to do something about it. We've got nothing to do with this base. It's totally under the United States control. If we get Trump in there next time, and he may press the button, because he's got a bigger button than Putin, then we are a target. The British government and the American government would say, we, we need this because Putin has threatened to use nuclear weapons in the context of the invasion of, of Ukraine. The idea that like we just have to, everybody has to nuke up, it's not, it's false. It's not working. Do you know what I mean? If you look at it, like nuclear weapons haven't kept the peace. We're now in this very, very dangerous situation where, you know, the doomsday clock, um, the atomic scientists who put that together, they're now saying the world is in a far more dangerous situation precisely because of what's happening in Ukraine. So we feel that, like, just adding more nuclear bombs to that situation is not going to make it safer. So that's why we're going to continue protesting here, because we, want these, we don't want these nuclear weapons coming here. We want to encourage our government to say, no, nope, we're not going to accept them. <laughs>